This is a watercolor tutorial by Ekaterina Smirnova, making your Valentine's card. I always like to start with making a cup of wonderful tea, and the key is to enjoy your process. We will need two sheets of watercolor paper, seven and a half inches wide, your favorite watercolor paint, I use Rose Matter Genuine by Windsor and Newton, and a soft bristle brush, quite wide if you have. Since I have a watercolor channel, then of course I'd like to show you how to make your Valentine's card using watercolor. The first step is to wet the paper, make sure it's equally wet everywhere and it's starting to absorb the water, give it some time. And when the shine is off, that means that the water is fully absorbed, you can start mixing your favorite color of the watercolor. And from the center, very smoothly start spreading the paint all around. When you think that you have too much paint, you can use a kitchen paper towel in order to remove some extra paint from your brush. And continue on circling around and sometimes maybe you would want it to clean your brush very well and perhaps dry a little bit and uh, the goal is to make it a very nice and smooth spread that goes from the center all the way to the edges of the paper. Keep in mind that when the paint dries the color is not going to be so intense. So don't be afraid to make your painting brighter. Now you need to let the paper to fully dry. I've made two fading out paintings, circular and diagonal, using different color as well. This is just an option. Next step is to use a stencil. You can download and print out this stencil at the link provided on the comments to this video. This is how it will appear. So by simply placing it on top of your painting, and uh, perhaps you would want to secure it with a masking tape. I prefer to use a translucent paper than an opaque one, so you could transfer to some translucent paper. Using an X-Acto knife, make holes at the points where dashed lines and solid lines unite. The reason why is that because you would need to not only cut on top, on the front of your painting, but also flip it around and make slight sections on the back as well. This might take you some time. Uh, be careful, precision is very important in this case. I recommend you to go a few times with an exacto knife on the same lines. So I'm gonna speed up this video, but please do not rush at this stage. When you are done, remove the stencil and flip your paper upside down. Here you'll need to finish some lines that didn't cut through. Do you remember those dots? You need to lightly slice on a dashed line so you could easily fold it. And here is our first letter, L for love. Following the pattern, continue with the rest of the letters until you will get the message, love you. You could use a different background or behind the letters, for example, that blue one. Or another option is to use foil. This is a regular kitchen foil, you can also use a wrapping and such. So tape a foil to just cover up the letters on the back. Make sure you leave enough space all around so you could use glue. Out of the second part of the paper, please cut out a shape of the heart that is slightly larger than the first heart and paint with the same color or color that you choose all around on the perimeter of the heart. Make sure that your space is clean because you don't want to get the color on the back. 
allow it to dry. The second heart not only hides our foil, but also gives it a nice rim. I have cut out a little string of the lace, which will be applied also in the center of the heart. I will use a basic paper glue and will apply it all around in the perimeter. You don't have to put any glue on top of the foil because this is not gonna stick anyway. Make sure that you spread the glue equally around and all the way to the edges and very carefully place it in the center of the base heart. Apply a good pressure, perhaps you could use a few books and uh, put it on top and ensure that it's fully dry. My Valentine card is almost ready. The final detail is left to do is to write your beautiful note on the back. I'm using a pointy bristle brush and the same watercolor paint and will write be my valentine. Of course you could use a sharpie or you could use any other materials to write your note, but I encourage you to use watercolor because this will help you to work on the precision while painting with watercolor. If you are not so confident with writing on the card directly, perhaps you could practice on a scrap paper. So here you go, the Valentine card is ready, now pick a person to give it to. If you like this tutorial, please comment and let me know if you like to see more tutorials like this. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.